please like and subscribe for more tutorial for beginners. New videos every day. In this lesson, we will just finish this home page for now by just customizing the footer part. So to customize this, all you need to do is click on this footer section here and you will be taken to an option that uh, which says that uh, show social media icons so I personally don't recommend showing social media icons but if you want you can so I'm just putting putting this off for the moment and then downwards it says show payment icons well I do recommend that showing payment icon is unnecessary because people will find it more efficient and people will know which payment method to use so it's really necessary so here are the credentials uh, show powered by Shopify show by Debutify you can just press that off by just clicking this arrow sign and this will be gone and here you can also go to the theme settings but before that I want to go back and I just want to go downwards so this uh, footer has been divided into three section by default but you can add some more blocks if you want like this featured products or collection list you can add this one so so let's go to the first one which is the store details so here I recommend putting a logo at the very bottom so I'm just giving my logo here so after so after that you can just go downwards and you can also put a link in your logo and I don't want this caption called like about us so I'm just I uh, just deleted the caption so which gives something like that and you can just uh, share uh, give some details here like let's change it you can give your slogans here or details like we are an e-commerce brand that sells da 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 dot and all so you can give your own details here and you have these credentials to show your email address and phone numbers so these are the dummy email and the phone numbers that I used to create this so moving backwards uh, oh you can also select the column width so if you just increase the width you will just break it down because this width is up to here so if you take this so this one breaks and comes down so I recommend it putting to like two if you are three so if you want four columns you should put this in one and so on so moving back here you got the menu part so here I recommend having this quick links option and here you'll be you can also add this subheading part and here you will select the menu you want so we will be discussing in brief and we will be changing our menus and you will see how this menu changes according to the way you want so I'm putting this as it is for now and I'm just going back and at the third part you have your newsletter option so here is the why way we did it upwards like this one so you can also right here get discounts and all so like let's just change the sub heading to get discounts and dot 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 which you really want so these are basically the settings which you want by yourselves so you can see that we have also changed our footer and this newsletter part is the same as the one which I showed you guys earlier so I guess it's time to change the footer color of this news uh, footer color because it's looking something not going with the background so uh, what let's go to our footer part and let's just change this background color to black I think uh, well this looks a bit good again this choosing of color is well your ch own choice so play around with this and you can just change your colors according to your wish so the thing is I'm just saving my part for now and so that's it you have completed your homepage part for 
uh, all you have only these two things remaining so in the next section we will do our product listing in that when you will have these two parts completed also so I'll see you on the next lesson